when a vinegar ruin and a striped-tailed centipede come to the surface, all hell will break loose. The rainforest is riddled with entrances to the underworld. From one dark gash, like some mythical monster, comes a striped-tailed centipede. Every night, it leaves its subterranean lair on a mission to murder. A hyperactive hunter plowing through the forest on 22 pairs of legs. We think that they'd be getting tripped up all the time, but with each one longer than the previous, they never get tangled. The centipede's speed and mobility are even more impressive when you realize it's almost blind. Its antennae act like all-seeing eyes. Beneath the antennae on either side of the head, the main strike weapons, two modified legs, have become venom claws that deliver a toxic shock. Perched high on a leaf, a grasshopper thinks it's out of harm's way. But the striped-tailed express is hot on its chemical trail and severs a hind leg. Now that's poor defense. The grasshopper really should have jumped clear while it had a chance, because now when the centipede comes back, it's not going to have a leg to stand on. The venom claws now serve as silverware pulling soft flesh from the exoskeleton. Like a discerning diner ripping meat from a lobster tail. Nearby, another denizen of the dark emerges, hungry for blood. With its heavy armor and creeping crab-like walk, the vinegar rune is a primeval nightmare. Vinegar runes are like B-grade movie idols. I mean, they're just really scary, monster-looking animals. Massive pedipalps ending in crude pincers grab prey in a merciless embrace, then crush it against serrated armor plates. Like all arachnids, the vinegar rune has eight legs, but only six are used for walking. The first two are sensors that the vinegar rune taps around like a blind person's cane. Its heavy armor is enough to deter most predators. If that doesn't work, the vinegar rune mounts a reeking rear guard action. They've got a gland at the base of their tail that is capable of spraying what's essentially vinegar as much as three feet away. They're able to move their tail around, aim it toward the predator, and then spray this mix of acetic acid and caprylic acid. It breaks down an invertebrate's exoskeleton. But will the vinegar rune's heavy weapons be enough to defeat the striped-tailed centipede? when it attacks head on. Next, underworld demons fight to the death. Then, hardcore mean girls go head to head. And later, ultimate fighters face off. In the dead of night, the rainforest is haunted by underworld demons. A voracious, striped-tailed centipede follows a trail to its next meal. Meanwhile, a vinegaroon waits for its dinner to arrive. The centipede attacks with spiny feet and razor-sharp venom claws. The vinegaroon wields giant club-like pedipalps, spiked pincers, and serrated plates. Who'll survive the battle of the night terrors? The centipede charges in like a hungry locomotive. 
But the Vinegaroon grabs first. The centipede lashes its body around. Venom claws looking for a way in. The centipede is tough, but this Vinegaroon has it in a really, really tight grip in the pedipalps. It's almost like being caught in a nutcracker. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Even if the centipede manages to get away, he's going to have a terminal headache, and I don't think he's going to get very far. The centipede's legs kick feebly as claw-like chelicery tear into its neck, almost severing the head. Regurgitated digestive juices flood the wound, transforming solid flesh into centipede soup. So it seems that the old adage of live by the sword, die by the sword, is just as applicable to the bug world as anywhere else. The Vinegaroon savors its victory, ferrying its dead foe back to the underworld to feast in peace.